Zuckerberg abandons the metaverse. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because I thought it'd be worth having a look at this article discussing Mark Zuckerberg abandoning the metaverse. You know that the Facebook rebranded entirely to Meta and it was all about the metaverse and all the crypto bros were claiming their bullshit token was some sort of thing to do with the metaverse. And then everything we saw was the were these terrible graphics that were, I mean, that's kind of N64 level graphics. Now, I guess maybe if you're just a, a mobile phone gamer, you think that's good. But that's like the virtual reality I experienced when I was a child. I remember... I remember, remember I went on a holiday to Europe with my mother when I was a teenager. And in Berlin, they had this VR type of setup, like a shop. And you could go play VR games and they put a, a headset on you and you have some gloves and, you know, that you stand up on this platform and you could do like virtual boxing and it was expensive. And I, I remember I took a swing and accidentally hit the woman who was adjusting my thing, my helmet. Oh, I mean... There's a reason why VR is not that popular. I think, what is it? Um, Ken and Roberta Williams have released Colossal Cave Adventures. And people say, it's you know, there's a VR option there and it's kind of good. We explored VR for our architectural visualization. The software we use allows you to put a VR headset on, but it can be quite disorientating for some people and can make you feel sick when you're using it. So, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. I mean, I, I, it's not surprising that I mean, what games use it? I think Elite Dangerous, it has a, a fantastic VR experience, people say, but you know, even that game's dying. So let's check out this. So Mark Zuckerberg quietly buries the metaverse. There will be no press release, no big announcement, as he would have to acknowledge that he was wrong. But make no mistake, Mark Zuckerberg just buried the metaverse. The metaverse is dead. Well, it never was alive. It never was a thing, was it? It's like Web3 in the crypto world, which is just trying to charge you for stuff you get for free now with stupid tokens. Can you tell I'm a bit skeptical about it? The metaverse was supposed to be the next big thing for the social media tycoon, who in 2021 went so far as to rename his empire created from Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp as meta platforms. Simply put, the metaverse is an immersive virtual world in which we are supposed to interact with each other using special glasses and virtual reality headsets. Isn't that like an MMO? Don't, don't, don't you already have that? Remember Second Life? How's it different from that? Just VR and Facebook brands it. What they need to do is if they put Farmville on this thing, it might be popular. Is that still a thing anymore? Maybe I'm showing my age. My kids wouldn't even know what that is. It was uh, the future of technology, according to Zuckerberg, who Tesla CEO Elon Musk dubbed Zuck the 14th in an apparent nod to French King Louis the 14th, famous for his hubris and excess. So Meta creates a top-level AI team. For those who doubted the company's devotion to the idea, Meta has invested billions of dollars into this massively hyped project to the carnage of company shareholders. Who did they... They had one of the... Hang on, I need to look this up. One of the Doom creators. Doom creators left Meta. Meta, let me have a look. It's, here we go. Yes, there we go. John Cormack. Um... Games industry legend John Carmack announced Friday that he's leaving Meta. According to Business Insider, Carmack's departure came via an internal memo at Meta, heavily criticizing the company's virtual reality efforts, specifically workplace efficiency. Now, he, he is like a computer programming god with the stuff that he achieved. Uh, if you go on GDC on the YouTube channel, they've got a lot of talks from the original Doom creators and just the whole, the what they got up to, how they made stuff, how they cobbled it all together. It's really fascinating. And this guy was a genius, or still is. And he's abandoned Meta. So that should tell you something right there. That doesn't fill me full of confidence, doesn't it? Um, what? I don't have ad blocker on, do I? I got ads everywhere. Why does it always think I've got ad blocker anyway? Oh, well, still, you know. I mean, Doom, imagine playing Doom with VR. Could you do that? That'd, that'd be 
Terrifying. Anyway, <clears throat> in 21-22, Reality Labs, the division housing metaverse projects, recorded a cumulative loss of nearly $24 billion, including $13.7 billion just last year. The losses will ease significantly in coming months because the metaverse is over. Zuckerberg, or Zuckerberg, has just held the funeral by turning to the next big shiny thing, namely artificial intelligence. We're creating a new top-level product, group at Meta focusing on generative AI to turbocharge our work in this era, Zuckerberg said, or area, Zuckerberg said in a Feb 27th post on Facebook. Do you reckon Facebook will last that much longer? I mean, what is it really? It's just groups, isn't it? It's just community groups. When you go on there, how much of your stuff is filtered by ads? You can't really share anything. You're legally liable here in Australia for anything you post or even anything someone posts on a page that you admin. What's the future of this thing? You know, are the young kids even using Facebook anymore? Is it going to end up like, like, um, oh, what's that one that came before Facebook with the guy in the whiteboard? Oh, MySpace. Remember MySpace? What about ICQ? Oh, damn. I'm, I'm showing my age here, guys. I'm showing my age. We're, we, um, we're starting by pulling together a lot of the teams working on generative AI across the company into one group focused on building delightful experiences around this technology. Yeah, there's going to be some scary stuff coming out, like an AI that can mimic dead relatives. Is that even ethical? In the short term, we're focusing on building creative and expressive tools, he wrote. Over the longer term... We'll focus on developing AI personas that can help people in a variety of ways. There you go. Imagine people are going to start having relationships with these AI things. And then all over humanity is gone then, isn't it? I think, what was it? Low Budget Stories, another YouTube channel in the whole Wojak genre has done some interesting videos on that topic. The legacy of the metaverse remains because Meta will continue to develop remnants of this virtual world, such as headsets. But it will be more for a target audience, such as video gamers and the crypto world. He um, credits to Zuckerberg. He, he spares himself humiliation by uh, surrep, surrep, tit, surrep, tit, surrep, tit, tit, titulously, surreptitiously, surreptitiously. I, I butchered that in line and deftly redirecting the attention of his critics to AI, which most experts consider a true technology revolution. The use, uses for consumers and businesses are indisputable. ChatGPT, the most visible expression of the new AI breakthrough, has completely changed internet search. Now we'll get human-like responses to queries. For companies, repetitive and boring tasks can now be carried out efficiently using chatbots. So Metaverse was a fling. We're also getting closer to AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, which means highly autonomous systems that emulate and outperform humans at most economically valuable work. Basically, the, uh, the paradigm shift expected since the internet revolution is here. Zuckerberg understands this and has immediately pivoted. If he, Well, he's pivoted a bit late, hasn't he? We'll, we'll have to see if it actually manifests into something. If he's not a pioneer, as always... As he was, the tech tycoon still reacts very quickly to new ideas and trends. He always adapts and gives the impression that he is immediately on the trail. Zuckerberg knows how to capture the spirit of the times. This is his strength, and it allows him to, to bury the metaverse on the sly. About 80% of our investments, a little more, go towards the core business, what we call our family of apps. So that's Facebook. Okay. I use Facebook mainly as an online photo repository. Instagram, I can't be bothered. WhatsApp, I thought just scammers use that. At least that, that's how it appears on my bloody chatbot feed and Messenger. The Messenger's just a part of Facebook. Remember when they they tore that out of Facebook? I mean, do they still have Google Messenger, Gmail Messenger? And the ads business associated with this. Then a little less than 20% of our investment goes towards Reality Labs, the CEO told the New York Times Deal Book Conference last November. Coincidence or not, on the same day Zuckerberg made this statement, the open API startup unveiled ChatGPD chatbot. 
which has completely convinced millions of consumers that AI is already part of their daily lives and will in the future almost dominate their interactions with tech. From now on, don't talk about the metaverse to Zuckerberg anymore. It was an affair that lasted enough time for him to find a new conquest. So there we go. Let's have a look. And I mean, you can see why Cormac left. Let's look at the share price of five years. There you go. So they, they were at a high of 350 bucks, went down to $99. And they're right back up to 200 So if you manage to buy in at the November 2024, 2022 lows on Facebook, you're doing pretty good. Let's look at the max. There you go. So it just shot right at 380 pretty much. And it went right back down to $93, which is 2015 prices. Oh, boy. Big correction there. Anyway, let's have a talk about all of this guy. So they're abandoning uh, meta verse and pivoting to AI. Seems like a, a smart move. But the fact that Cormac left tells me all I really have to know. What do you think? One, one of the pioneers in this field. I bet, you know, left this uh, huge big company with all these resources. Yeah, might be a real bloated monster of a place anyway guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one thanks for watching like share and subscribe to the channel check out heiser bim or heiser does and if you're a fan and want to support us you can on youtube or patreon use our referral links via pocket squares or call us if you need an architect take care everyone have a great day and i will see you all in the next episode of heiser says goodbye for now